Seth Rogen. So he's a whole black pill. <laughs> it is, uh, I, my hope would be that maybe one of these turns out really good. And like, mm-hmm. then you're like, wow, okay. Seth Rogen's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot will be focused, will be followed by new movies focused on villains. You know what? Maybe one of them will be good. Mm. This one isn't it. No. <laughs> this one isn't. I have more faith in the Transformers one than oh, a yeah. Seth Rogen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. That is for sure. Wait. So it's all about the villains. Which the, ones? The the so the his teenage Ninja Turtles reboot will be followed by a new one. My guess it'll be about Shredder and the Foot Clan. That's but, boring. Can uh, you talk about um, maybe Rocksteady and Bebop? I thank don't know. you. The, that would be cool, like a, a CGI Rocksteady and Bebop movie. Or what's the <coughs> Pink Alien? It starts with a K. The name with the funny Krang? yes, yes. Um, can they start something like that uh, Seth Rogen and creative partner Evan Goldberg are hard at work on a new CGI animated Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie I just want to point out that I every time they announce something new for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles I hope against hope that they're going to bring back the animatronic uh, suits and they of course they're never going to do that they should uh, Jim Henson has long since passed and we're not going to get something from the creature shop doing that like I think we got like Muppets a couple years ago mm-hmm. but even that's not really the same as it used to be but th- I rewatched the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a couple I still rewatch it like a couple of times a year the original 1990s Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie from Golden Harvest is one of my favorite movies of all time Aww. That drawing back there is literally a piece of, not from the movie, but it's a, a recreation of a piece of art from the movie. Um, so it's, it has a very, very special place in my heart, especially that first movie. Uh, so to see them, and especially Seth Rogen of all people, and I don't know anyone who looks like Seth Rogen, but um, <laughs> uh, it says, during the Viacom CBS Investor Day, the company announced that the upcoming Rogen-produced Teenage Mutant Turtles movie coming in 2023 will be followed by the launch of a new series of films focused on the villains. Why? I don't know. Like, I, I'm just at a loss. This I guess whole you could, episode. Like, it's like hating. They're gonna ruin this. Yeah. Fun. It literally is black pilled. The, just the episode, wait. Black pilled the episode. They're also gonna ruin this. Yep. When are they gonna remake Fun. Showgirls? That's what I want to know. When are they gonna remake Showgirls? What's, What's Showgirls? Show <laughs> no Elizabeth Berkeley fans here, huh? Okay. All I don't right. Know any of the names? Okay. Sure. These yeah. movies will premiere exclusively on Paramount Plus starting in 2023. That's interesting that they're not going to do studio releases for these or uh, theater releases for these. The theaters are out. They're, no, they're dude. They're on their last legs. Nickelodeon has confirmed that the villain spinoff movies are unrelated to Rogan's reboot. Well, good. Maybe, maybe I'll watch the villain version then just so it's not the Rogan version. The last two times I've been in the theater, I've been in the theater alone. You need to go to the warehouse cinema with That's us. the one that yeah. where I go. Where, you, it's to, the, to my place. To the good one? Yeah. What'd you go see recently? Or what were the last movies you saw? Spider Man. Okay, it was empty. Yeah, just, just me and my girlfriend. That's all. Awesome. Well, it's fun. When, when I mean, it was great for us. Yeah. Bow, bow, chicka, wow, wow. No, not no. in the theater. <laughs> That's a crime. I mean, <laughs> it's on a lot of people's bucket list, but whatever. Nickelodeon, <laughs> and we're going to skate right past that one, just right like the male feminist comments. Yep. <laughs> Nickelodeon has confirmed that the villain spinoff movies are unrelated to Rogan's reboot, but are a part of a larger plan for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Rogan's reboot was announced back in 2020, and still now, in 2022, we're hoping that they'll just forget. Like, maybe they all magically one day were just like, we were going to, who was it we were going to have working on this? I can't remember. Bradley Cooper? No, I mean, not Bradley he's high. Cooper. He doesn't remember. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let's face it. Nobody likes him. What uh, if it turns out really good? What if, Miracle? I will be... I will be oh, see, look at this picture. Frick, it was so awesome back in the 90s. You can buy two of the original heads from the costume. God, so awesome. There's a girl that collect um, collects everything Ninja Turtles, yep. and she has... Michelangelo and then I believe Raphael. If now if they were to do a do you guys know what the last Ronin you know what the last Ronin is, right? It's yeah. The, okay. If they did a last Ronin movie mm-hmm. and did it live action mm-hmm. with that in in a with looks that looked a lot like what we were just not that, <laughs> not that, 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 not that. Okay, maybe that. It is that. <laughs> I lo- Man, I love t- I love that one. The third Teenage Mutant Turtles movie is so bad. If they did it, like even even more like the second one, but like the, if it looked like that, and mm-hmm. they did the last Ronin with Michelangelo, that would be incredible. Mm-hmm. Like, but they're never going to do that because it would be too dark, and their their money is made in toys. What's the last like readaptation that was good? Two thousand seven animated movie. Yeah, is that the one where they it was went? Just called TMNT. Yeah, yeah, that that's was the, the one where yeah. um, Leonardo went 
rogue and like he was in yeah. South America. Yeah. yeah. No, but I don't mean just like by Ninja Turtles, by anything. Like last remake? Yeah. Of anything? Like name which property? Anything. Oh. Uh, um Spider Man? Spider Man was really good, yeah. The um I mean first Venom movie was good. That's not really a remake though. That's just Whatever. Uh, uh, Godzilla. Oh yeah. Godzilla. I mean, she she's a huge fan of the Godzilla Never seen of it. the Godzilla movies. We have to get him to watch. Did you watch Godzilla vs. Kong? No. God damn it. I don't watch it in most movies. Okay, well, that one is really good, and everybody already knew that Godzilla was going to win, whatever. But I was rooting for Godzilla anyway. <laughs> before, like, before, like, I started going to movies with you guys to see mm-hmm. Marvel movies, like, the last movie I had seen in theaters was, like, Interstellar or something. Yeah. Oh. Well, we, I mean, we go to, like, the, the those because everyone knows what they are, but now that we're going for the show, we're going mm-hmm. to less commons. Like, we're going to go see Uncharted this weekend. I That's know! Uh, <laughs> and, and Dane is very sad. Do you want me to get you a souvenir? No, I want to watch it. Oh. So it says, uh, the early popularity of Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, and Michelangelo, of course, grabbed the eyes of Hollywood and led in the 90s live action movie. 1990, that first one came out. Grunge wasn't even popular yet. We didn't even have Kurt Cobain yet. Um, (laughs) (laughs) He was just starting to be emo in his house. Five more big screen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle projects would follow. A pair of direct sequels to the 1990, in 91 and 93, and a Michael Bay produced reboot in 2014, and that led to the 2016 Out of the Shadows, which gave us Megan Fox again as, uh, see, Dane probably liked him because they had Megan Fox. I approve. I don't know. (laughs) She's uh, she's kind of on a weird arc right now with her little with her in, skinny uh, boy toy. Her, uh, the old her, her fiance boy toy. Machine Gun Kelly. He she says. loves Machine Gun Kelly. I like you, his new you stuff. You love Megan Fox. He loves me. <laughs> wait, you love Megan Fox. She loves Machine Gun Kelly. No wonder you guys are best friends. We should hark apply him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is uh, there is a grand plan to be made. Yeah, here. yeah. So I like his new stuff though. His rap career was trash. His career career yeah because he was trying to be a better rapper than nnm and then Wait. nnm was like shut that noise and who's nnm i can't word leave me alone he like retired him exactly no, well I mean, no like a punk rocker yeah and i prefer his punk rock more okay well. so, <laughs> given the long history of teenage Ninja turtles across various types of media it's no surprise that there's now a lengthy list of villainous characters for these spin-offs to draw from the shredder is of course probably the most ma- notorious of all the tmnt bad guys but there are other intriguing figures who could fa- who could be in line to head a spin-off of their own including baxter stockman bebop and rocksteady krang the rat king the triceratons hun karai and numerous more I, I they could maybe do a baxter stockman one and get uh um, who's the guy who plays Medea? <laughs> Tyler Perry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Tyler Perry to, again. He, I think he played him in the. Yeah, he yeah. did. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be good, but maybe they get um, Michael B. Jordan to play a very, very handsome Baxter Stockman. Oh God, no! Bebop and Rocksteady would have to be uh, animated, or uh, I'm sorry, would have to be like CGI, but that could still be pretty cool. Well, it's like the biggest villain of Teenage. Uh, I Turtles. still think Shredder is is considered the biggest villain, but. Uh, that's uh, I, I wasn't a huge comic fan. I was a re- wasn't Shredder their teacher. No, that was Splinter. Oh, Splinter. Splinter. Yes. Uh, to a Splinter uh, a reboot. So it says, of course, it's long been the tendency for owners of valuable IP to craft as much content as they can around these brands until the money well finally dries. Mm-hmm. They never know when to quit, do they? Ever. Uh, the, it's, I mean, it's not really their job to know when to quit. It's their job to go until it's no longer financially profitable. So that's where business and uh, art kind of struggle to intersect the most they're really that's about torturing our childhood yeah. they are they, they're literally looking at the, like the, the typical quintessential american uh 30 year old now and they're like <laughs> i think birth rates are down because of all the remakes people are like it's just not worth it i don't want to see this happen to my kids For real? Mm-hmm. like i don't want we, we were going to cover like they're making like a new spongebob and miracles like uh, or, or new dora the explorer and i now, will flip this table <laughs> if they ruin spongebob spongebob well, Rules. Like, Did you watch the new um, SpongeBob perc- movies? No, ninety percent of memes are SpongeBob. That's exactly. What, yeah. That's why I pointed out to Brett. But Hannah Claire, like when I read the the title for the article, she was like, "Nope, nope, nope. Stop doing remakes. Stop. If you keep on doing remakes, I'm leaving the show." Well, that, what I pointed out, I said one of the hardest things about what we do here is that we encourage them to make new properties, right? But for us to do this show. Mm-hmm. 
you, by the nature of how it works, you don't start covering it until it's popular. Yeah. So I can't know it's going to be popular until after it becomes popular. We mm-hmm. stare at the abyss for you, yes. essentially. Well, I'm saying, like, we couldn't <laughs> have covered, like, like I love the John Wick movies, but we wouldn't have covered them on here before they came out because we wouldn't have known that they were going to become the huge hits that they did. I don't mm-hmm. know. Maybe something we could do is like predict the next hit. That would be very difficult, but that would be fun to kind of like look at uh, the original movies coming out in the next year and be like, wh- what if any of these has the chance of being the next cultural phenomenon? What but are it's you not most like excited that, for? Uh, this year? Period, I guess. It's a Batman. <laughs> Batman, me too. The Batman's the movie that I'm most looking forward to. It looks to. cool as hell. Um, actually, you know what? So while we're while we're doing this, we can just go and look at the movies that are coming out this year. Um, the Batman's in March 4th, so let's see if there was... Uh, well, that's Mor- pretty soon. Morbi- oh, yeah. Mor- uh, Morbius. I'm looking forward to Ambulance, which is a Michael Bay action, uh, action I'm go- movie. I'm going to Batman with you guys. Yep. Don't go yeah. at 615. Yeah, um, losers. Well, we have to because, like, Brian's like, yeah, because I have to drive the guests. The everywhere. Northman. The Northman is one we're both looking forward yeah. to. Yeah, no, talking um, about Batman in the future. Um, what about uh, Morbius? More, uh, but he's talking about new. Like, you're talking like what could be coming out that's not already popular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, there's a movie called The Northman coming out. That's uh, it's it's super good. You should watch the, the trailer. The trailer for it. It's got um, uh, <laughs> Ethan Hawke, uh, Alexander Skarsgård, uh, Anna Taylor Joy, a bunch of uh, Nicole. After Kidman. watching that trailer, like legit, I started listening. It's like a, it's based on uh, Norse mythology. GDA yes. Six gotta be big. We should do a stream where we play it. Who? Grand Theft Auto Six. Oh, you actually mm-hmm. want to play it now? Yeah, it's gonna be huge. Didn't we do an article where they're gonna ruin that? Also, the Top Gun Maverick, I'm excited to see. That's kind of wild. I know. Mm-hmm. I like Is it going to have Tom Cruise? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty cool. He's going to be the teacher of the new pilot. Oh, God. Uh, well, no. Like, he, he never, he never like, he, he stayed at his rank so that he was a pilot his whole career. They offered him promotions, and he never took them. He, he, so, and it's got these amazing shots of him in an actual aircraft doing these maneuvers. Uh, so Does he have the need? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, there's even like a shot of them like on the beach doing like the the volleyball scene Based. like yeah that's, uh, the most homoerotic scene the, of all time the greatest scene ever it's incredible uh, uh, let's see well, I don't really care about nope uh, Black Adam's not tech I mean though it's technically new because it's never been made into a live action movie before yeah. with the rock yeah. well that's why I brought up Morbius because that's new technically new um, but on the, on the rest of it uh, none of these other ones there was the there was the unbearable weight uh, of massive the the Nicolas Cage movie oh, yeah. Where Nicholas Nicolas Cage, Cage. Was, where he plays himself. Um, I just saw it up here. Oh, what about that movie? The lady who plays in Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Oh, uh, something, everything, all at once. Yeah, it's um, yeah, basically that. It's got Michelle Yeoh. Um, that one is pretty good because, like, basically she breaks like, um, is it the timeline or like it's kind a, of like Matrixy in a way? Yeah. So. Uh, but it's called Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, I believe. Yeah. It, you remember that episode from Rick and Morty where they have, like, the stones to see, like, what's the possible futures and looking into different dimensions? I remember where they had a television. Oh, mm-hmm. well, n- well, there it's in season four, I think. But basically when Morty gets the crystal and he, like, predicts, like, which path, like, leads him to Jessica. And so basically it's similar to that in my feel where... Basically, Michelle Yeoh, right? That's her name? Yes. Um, she kind of breaks, like, the... She breaks the dimension so she can see her different um, lives in different dimension, um, dimensions. Like, she knows how to do kung fu in one. One, she's a real popular celebrity in Hollywood. It's and very then, avant-garde, yeah. the, the trailer for it. So that could, that could that could end up being pretty cool. Yeah. Like, that's I kind of want to see it, but at the same time, like... Um, there's not a lot of advertisement yeah. for it. Like it had like it's a, a foreign big film, right? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's oh, not. I thought it was. Okay. No, it's a Hollywood um, film. Cool. Well, yeah. that might be that might be fun to do. Yeah, so. she speaks in broken English <laughs> well, for no reason. For no reason whatsoever. Yeah, that, that could that one could definitely go out good. Like we'll we'll have to look we'll look into that one and see if we can find a release date for that one. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they don't have a listing for that. Maybe that's next year. That could be 2023. No, it's that's 2022 for the first trailers. Okay. All right. Well, we will check it out. Mm-hmm. So that's something that's new that we're looking forward to. Also, the Northmen, which is it's about Vikings. Do you uh, want to watch North that? Mythology. Because you kind of look like one of the actors. The Vikings. Yeah. Yes, you look very. 
Very Nordic. Very Nordic, my friend. Very Nordic. So I've heard. Yeah, or we can dress you up as Kristoff from Frozen. Uh, or, not, you know? <laughs> like, or, or not. Or not. Or we could just watch a movie. You know? Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.